This next drill is great for pursuit of a running back and keeping inside leverage. It's very important when chasing a running back that you keep inside leverage so that if he gives you a cut or a jump cut, you're not too far outside of him and you don't miss him for the tackle. What that would look like is if I'm too far outside of him and he goes to cut back inside, I'm one step too far outside because I didn't, did not keep inside leverage. What you want to do the whole time when in pursuit of running back is you want to make sure that his inside foot is almost in line with your outside foot, keeping your shoulder and his inside shoulder in line so that when he goes to give you a cut and comes back, you're right here to make the play. So the way this drill is set up is you're going to have a ball carrier and you're going to have me as a defensive linebacker in pursuit of the running back. I'm going to start with inside leverage, meaning I'm going to start inside of the running back, giving him the advantage to the outside so that if he does cut inside, I can still make the play. Drill basically looks like this. Points of emphasis for this drill is obviously keeping inside leverage, but also maintaining square shoulders to the running back when the running back shoulders are square. When he turns his shoulders and commits, that's when I can commit and turn my shoulders while still keeping inside le leverage and keeping my eye on the ball carrier. It's important while you're doing this to not click your heels and maintain a good athletic position the whole time. This is how it looks. This is what it looks like when you do not keep inside leverage. This is what happens when you do keep inside leverage. Remember, you're using the sideline as a teammate. He's got all the room once he's over there to cut back inside. You've got to use the sideline as your friend. 